Good morning again. Welcome to Power of Prayer Ministry. Jesus is the founder and I am the manager. We have a long team in our management where we have a president, we have a secretary, we have co-founder and we have leaders who lead out every morning. I just really want to publicly say I appreciate you. I appreciate when you see me vulnerable and transparent. I, you are new prayer and say, Jasmine, do not give up. You have um, silent members who they don't come, but they are effective. They cheer and they understand that God called me a time like now. So God is a founder and we are the manager. Please subscribe, share and comment. Touch the notify bell that you can get video when we um, put them on YouTube channel. We are on our mind this morning and we are talking on step two. Let our mind be on Christ. Let our mind be on Christ on the topic this morning. And know that since we are going through this season of COVID-19, um, it we, we, we seems like we are, some of us seems like we are going to lose our mind because we don't know how to stay home. But I want to tell you this morning, stay at your yard. Yeah, stay at your yard. If you don't have nothing to go on the road to do, stay home. Yeah, stay at your yard. Remember me a Jamaican, right? So remember that God, is a, it, it better, it's, the scripture said, um, it's better to obey than sacrifice. So it don't make no sense you're going to pay the penalty of something that you, it can be prevented. How to control your thought this morning. And remember, steer on a yard. Follow. If if a Christian said they're bored, being home, we need to pray. You need to send me um, your prayer request. Because in a time like this, there's no Christian supposed to be bored. No Christian can be bored. We have so much stuff to be praying for. So much things. So this morning, I, I'm, I'm here to just encourage you. And we say we have a problem. If we have a problem, must be a solution. So since we have mentally challenged in a time like now, I'm going to encourage you with the keys to control your thought. And it's all about Jesus. Please subscribe, share, and send us your comment. You can also follow us on Power of Prayer Ministry Facebook. Also, we are on Twitter, Power of Prayer ministry jasmine ferron and we you can find us on this channel we also have bible study on wednesdays and thursday interchangeable begin 7 30 jamaica time in the form of whatsapp if you are interested please send us um your number and we will add you into it now let us pray abba father we pray that our mind will be upon you in the mighty name of jesus father we ask you as we go through this um, solution Lord we pray that they will receive your word in Jesus name amen now first one is become self-aware and we mentioned in the previous video of self-aware because when you read the scriptures it become a part of you he that had no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without wall Proverbs 25 verse 20 we see that in proverbs 25 verse 20 as a young age we become aware of ourselves according to popular quote i think therefore i am however many times throughout the day we forget about being aware of our thought so we we we, 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 we be aware of our action even though action is a part of our thought or the way we dress but we forgot about to be aware of our thoughts so this morning number one be become self-aware of our thought if we become self-aware of our thought we see how powerful our mind can be what we are thinking we are thinking positive not negative bless the name of the lord remember stay home if you don't have to go on the road as we looked this morning and five steps to be or to control our thought let our thought be upon Christ Jesus it said understand what influence your thought absent from all apply of evil in in the book of first Thessalonians verse 5 verse 22 we can also read that 
and see that God is trying to help us with our thought. In, he, he didn't leave us nor forsake us. He always embraced us. He always embraced us. There are some things that we just cannot avoid. We continue, go around, tearing down, billboard, advertisement, or half-naked people, but the Bible still warn us that as much as possible, we should absent from everything that apply to evil. So we have to be careful what we consume, just like when we eat. We don't want to eat so many foods. We are getting fat, so we go to the gym. Um, the Bible is our gym. We need to go to the Bible so the Bible can guide us. Do not allow thought to linger. Do not allow thought to linger. A lot of times we entertain our thought, but God is saying, do not entertain your thought if it's negative. But I say unto you that whosoever looked a woman to lust after her had already commit adultery with her already in her heart. We find that in Matthew chapter 5 verse 28. So when we see a lady out there or for the man and you have your wife, do not lust. Do not look second time. David looked a second time and he get himself in trouble with Bathsheba. We know that story because we are Bible believing people. Change your focus. Change your focus. Change your focus. He said, when we focus on Christ and his righteousness, we allow him to come in and renew in our mind. We begin to walk like him and talk like him. And our thought will come more and more like him when we are heavenly gold. So we have to be heavenly gold. Change our mind from earthly gold to heavenly. Change your focus. Let this man be in you, which also in Christ Jesus. Philippians 2 verse 4. And I also want to show, share with you Matthew chapter 6 verse 21. Matthew 6 verse 21. So remember, remember these, become, become self-aware. These are step after you become self-aware. What do you do? You understand what influence your thought yeah after you understand what influence your thought what you do you do not allow thought to linger after you don't allow thought to linger change your focus you have to we have to learn to change our focus yeah as jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for there I said unto you, if you have faith as grain as mustard seed, you shall unto the mountain remove. Here, yale place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew 7, verse, Matthew 17, verses 20. So this morning, Matthew 7, verse 22. So this morning, let us take this tool these fourth tool and go forward feed ourselves with positive thinking and we need to go to the scripture for all of you guys who love the gym you go to the gym to gain if you love the lord you go to the spiritual gym and remember stay home you can save a life remember subscribe Touch the notify bell that when we do a video, you will see our video. Also, follow us on Twitter, Power of Prayer Ministry, Jasmine Ferron. On Facebook, Power of Prayer Ministry. Also, you can comment and leave your prayer request. Let us pray. Have a Father in heaven. We know that there are mental challenge that we are facing but lord in this time of stay home but lord you are building back the family altar and if we can just look to you and don't entertain the negative thoughts that come in our mind father we ask you to pour out your holy spirit upon us as believers that we may go through the land and proclaiming Jesus the Christ. We pray that 
whosoever we go to, that we will not operate like we are the Holy Spirit, but operate like we go and plant a seed, and Lord, you will water it. I pray for those who don't have a church, that they will contact the Bible through church, and they will come to build a relationship with the Lord, our Savior. Father, help us and keep us, and God, move the scale from our eyes like you move it from Paul, then we may see heaven things. We may understand heaven timetable. So in your hands, we place all the world, all the globe, your people, and we will come and see victory. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Be safe. Be courage. You are the son of God. Stay home. Until we meet again, shalom. <laughs>